when we think of the body, we often forget how much waste our bodies make and how we get rid of it. Cause if we didn't, this crap would accumulate and pretty soon you'd increase our mortality rate. What crap, you ask? I'm talking CO2 and NH3, but our bodies got it under control luckily. There are four main organs that help us excrete. Without them, we'd be piles of dead meat. That first organ? Well, it's known as the skin. It removes ammonia waste through perspiration. The second one's obvious. We need that liver. It's got seven major functions that we've already learned. The third one's plural. You guessed it, the lungs. They remove CO2 from the body through exhalation. The fourth ones are vital. You'll want to protect these because your life would suck if you had no kidneys. It's the nephron. Come on, listen up or you'll get everything on your test wrong. We're giving you the details for your information and we're doing it all for your information. Here's what we suggest. Don't be stressed. Listen to the rest and do well on the test. It's a lot to digest, but don't be depressed. Take our request and just do your best. The very first step in your information is the process better known as pressure filtration. Blood from the renal artery enters the afferent arterial into the glomerulus and then into Bowman's capsule. These particles include water, glucose, urea, uric acid, hydrogen, sodium chloride, bicarbonate, amino acids, and potassium. The particles like proteins, glycogen, and blood cells won't continue. Their structure is too big for them to fit through the proximal convoluted tubular neck. The location of the process called selective reabsorption of nutrients by active transport back into the paratubular capillary network. The removal of glucose and amino acids takes ATP, whereas the ions and vitamins exit passively. You better hope that every sugar molecule leaves, because if there's still some left, you probably have diabetes. It's the nephron! Come on, listen up or you'll get everything on your test wrong. We're giving you the details for your information, and we're doing it all for your information. Here's what we suggest, don't be stressed, listen to the rest and do well on the test. It's a lot to digest, but don't be depressed, take our request and just do your best. The reabsorption of water is the third step, it begins when the filtrate descends. Through the loop of Henley, water diffuses due to permeability and osmosis. The water loss makes the filtrate really concentrated, so the ascending has a real strong osmotic gradient. The salt in the urine is no real need, so it goes back into descending and the cycle repeats. Tubular excretion is step number four, the collection of stuff you don't want anymore. Drugs, vitamins, creatinine, and histamines enter the distal convoluted tubule from the capillary. Also adjusted are H2OH plus HCO3 for the purpose of regulating acidity. The nephron is brilliant. It's simply iconic. The way it makes the urine hypertonic. It's the nephron. Come on, listen up or you'll get everything on your test wrong. We're giving you the details for your information and we're doing it all for your information. Here's what we suggest, don't be stressed, listen to the rest and do well on the test. It's a lot to digest, but don't be depressed, take our request and just do your best. We're on to the final step before completion. Part 5 goes by the name of excretion, where the nephron makes final modifications to the filtrate before eventual urination. Playing a major role are two hormones, known as ADH and aldosterone. The former is secreted when you're lacking water and the latter is secreted when you're low on blood pressure. Urine enters the pelvis through the collecting duct. Ureters take it to the bladder where it waits to be chucked. You know what comes next. You get the gist. Please aim at the toilet when you piss. Study the nephron. Study the kidney. For it is your destiny.